12 wearable ways to wear a button down shirt for this summer 2021. Going for everyday chic first of all with my classic pleated trousers in navy. I really love styling these trousers into my outfit ideas recently. They're so wearable and I find the navy a refreshing change in summer from my usual black. Plus the slightly looser fit with the classic button down shirt feels stylish, effortless and polished but understated at the same time. So I've added in a couple of tan details with my belt and sandals. Nothing too flashy, they're both from H&M Premium Collection, but in my humble opinion, they're great quality for the price. Depending on the weather, I'd finish off this outfit with a straw hat. I bought this one from H&M too, actually, for a very reasonable £12.99. I personally really like styling something as simple as a button-down shirt for the evening. It's timeless yet easygoing, which is just how I like my outfits to be. We often feel the need to really dress up if we're heading out and forget the joy of these really classic pieces. Sometimes that simplicity can be a really interesting twist in itself for your evening outfits. I actually don't think you need to, but it would work if you wanted to add a sprinkle of jewelry or just keep it really understated like I have and let your bag and heels do all the sparkle for you. I love my Santa Monica handbag. I think it's the perfect size to take out at night. Just because something is old, it doesn't mean it doesn't add value to an outfit, which is hopefully what I'm proving with this next look. Try styling one of your favorite pairs of summer trousers with your crisp shirts, and I bet you'd be surprised at just how well they work together. I love getting pieces out of the attic or from storage and integrating them into my capsule wardrobe for another season. I fall in love with them all over again, and it reminds me why I bought them in the first place. And as a side note, if they don't make you feel like that or you're not finding them super wearable anymore, perhaps it's time to donate or sell. From old to new now with my beautiful crepe silk maxi skirt that I bought recently. I don't think I've ever found such a beautiful skirt that ticks all the boxes. Fabric content, price, cut and fit, and I'm thinking it will cross over really well for autumn winter too albeit with a pair of tights underneath. A really wearable, everyday piece that I'm very glad I spotted. Depending on the length of your own skirt, make sure you get the proportion contrast right. This skirt is high-waisted, so I didn't want to lose that by adding the shirt. So I've tied it in a knot at the waistband to really draw the eye to that area. The overall look feels natural and elegant and has fast become one of my favorite ways to wear a button-down shirt this summer. Hi, my name's Jess and I'm addicted to jeans. <laughs> Whatever the weather, I will always have a pair to hand. I just love the versatility of denim and of course when it comes to styling a classic shirt, this would be one of my go-to looks. Now obviously there would be so many ways to style a classic boyfriend shirt and jeans just on their own, but I've gone with an outfit idea that I seem to be wearing on repeat recently. It's one of those outfits that's great to meet friends for a coffee, pop to the shops, look like I've made an effort for a meeting, and even sorts the school run out for me too. Tying in my sandals, flats and sunnies makes it feel more pulled together. And whether you need the trench or not, I actually quite like that little addition of khaki into the mix. A hint of blush, in my humble opinion, is far more wearable than you might first think. I personally love the shade and I find it can really soften my outfits and then take them in a whole different direction. But when we think about ways to wear a button down shirt, layering one over an outfit like this can have an unexpected benefit. The white contrasts beautifully against the pink and it seems to make it pop even more. And I like the juxtaposition of the crispness of the shirt against the far more floaty feeling trousers. It also takes the outfit from feeling somewhat loungewear to more everyday, giving me more ways to wear these trousers, which is never a bad idea. One thing I tend to do all the way through summer is a little layering, particularly with my dresses. I'd hate for them to sit in my wardrobe barely getting used, so I'll often layer a shirt or a blazer over the top to make them work harder for me, whatever the weather. With this particular dress, the addition of the button-down shirt is actually changing the shape of the dress at the same time. Defining my waistband with a knot at the tummy, but leaving quite a few buttons open so you get the contrast of white against that navy. So do have a play adding a shirt over some of your favorite dresses in your own wardrobe. 
There'll be a few different ways you can wear each of them. As Vogue quite rightly point out, the allure of head to toe white is impossible to resist, especially through summer. It's that easy, inexpensive and stylish trick that never fails to elevate a look. And though I'll often style tonal outfits in autumn winter, it's probably far more practical and wearable in spring summer. Here, as you can see, I've left my shirt loose and out of my trousers for a more laid back look and styled it with my white denim jeans, which are actually on sale now if anyone else likes them too. I finished the look with my gold sandals and a little texture with my straw bag to finish. Another layering idea would be to leave your button down shirt open and style a vest or t-shirt underneath. It gives you an extra layer if needed while instantly adding more of a laid back vibe to your look. I'd do this sort of look with either my cut off shorts or these more relaxed fitting summer trousers. I've got these trousers in khaki and because I loved the fit so much, I went for them in camel too. And as you've probably seen in my videos these last few months, they've been hugely wearable in my capsule wardrobe. This layering trick is handy if the weather's temperamental, which it often is in the UK. And I like to at least have that extra layer with me once the sun goes down. Going a little Parisian style with this next outfit idea and layering my Cezanne Breton top underneath. I've tied in that navy tone with my cos trousers again and then opted for camel accessories with my flats and my handbag. This would obviously be too warm for some hot countries, but this is definitely an option for me throughout summer. I've pretty much left the shirt unbuttoned and held it together with the knot tie at the front. Rolling the sleeves back so you get a little touch of that stripe popping out underneath. Again, it's a very wearable outfit that feels polished and with a little French vibe thrown in for luck. Though I do find denim shorts really wearable and great for summer for the heat, I do feel a little bit conscious that they're pretty short short. So to balance out that very laid back feel, especially with mine as they're on the more distressed end of the scale, adding a classic white shirt makes the look feel more balanced. It's a nice elegant touch in contrast to the very chilled shorts. And I actually like this look even more when the shirt is quite crisp for more contrast. However, for the purpose of this video, I've styled the same shirt throughout. So this is my linen version. Another idea with this look would be to simply layer a blazer over the top which makes the outfit feel even more elevated again. I probably wouldn't do that with my super tailored blazers as I think that would look a bit try hard, but with this quite oversized and relaxed fitting version, I think it works nicely. Thinking of tailored blazers, this is how I would style mine with a typical white shirt. Probably the most covered of all the outfit ideas today, but there's certainly a need for it in this country. This jacket feels more structured, but you could always size up for more of a boyfriend fit if you wanted. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I've given you lots of ways to wear your own button down shirts this summer 2021. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of my styling videos like this. And I shall see you next Sunday, bright and breezy for lots more outfit ideas. Have a good week, everyone.